Certainly, the human reproductive system is a complex system responsible for the production of offspring. In the context of NEAT, National Eligibility Cum Entrance Test, it's important to have a good understanding of the basic anatomy and functioning of the human reproductive system. Here's a simplified explanation. Male reproductive system. Testes. The primary male reproductive organs, located in the scrotum, produce sperm and the male sex hormone, testosterone. Epididymis. This is a coiled tube where sperm from the testes mature and are stored. Vas deferens. A muscular tube that transports mature sperm from the epididymis to the urethra. Seminal vesicles, prostate gland, and bulbourethral gland. These accessory glands contribute fluids to form semen, which nourishes and helps transport sperm. Urethra. A duct that carries semen and urine out of the body through the penis. Female reproductive system. Ovaries. The primary female reproductive organs, located in the pelvic cavity, produce eggs, ova, and female sex hormones, estrogen and progesterone. Fallopian tubes. These are tubes that transport eggs from the ovaries to the uterus. Fertilization typically occurs in the fallopian tubes. Uterus. A muscular organ where a fertilized egg implants and develops into a fetus during pregnancy. Cervix. The lower part of the uterus that connects to the vagina. Vagina. The muscular tube connecting the cervix to the external genitals. Labia, clitoris, and vulva. External structures involved in sexual arousal and protection of the reproductive organs. Menstrual cycle, in females. The menstrual cycle involves a series of hormonal and physiological changes in preparation for pregnancy. Menstruation. Shedding of the uterine lining if fertilization does not occur. Follicular phase. Follicle-stimulating hormone, FSH, stimulates the growth of an ovarian follicle, which houses the egg. Ovulation. Release of a mature egg from the ovary, triggered by a surge in luteinizing hormone, LH. Luteal phase. The ruptured follicle transforms into a structure called the corpus luteum, producing progesterone to prepare the uterus for potential pregnancy. Understanding these structures and processes is fundamental for grasping the concepts of human reproduction, which are often covered in NEAT biology exams. It's advisable to delve into more detail based on your specific study materials and syllabus.